This is going to be a more experimental sort of talk through video about um, sort of my own art process and milking my psychology major because I really haven't enjoyed my time in college for all of its worth. So we're going to reapply what I've learned slash like what I have come to understand of developmental psychology and some intro psychology stuff about motivation. Um, I feel like this sort of answers the questions that I think a lot of beginner artists and maybe like I guess people who haven't really found like their groove later on I guess the word flow would be most fitting but intrinsic motivation in art I think is really important because I think it prevents in my mind the event of you ever encountering art block because I low-key don't really believe in art block if you're actually creating stuff for the right reasons um but anyway intrinsic motivation is basically your desire to create out of like sheer enjoyment or like self-determination the challenge the effort put forth cultivating something you know that you can like be proud of whereas the opposite of intrinsic motivation is extrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation, which is basically being motivated to do things for the wrong reasons. I feel like for artists it could be like for likes, views, you know, like the numbers aspect, which it is a faucet of, I guess, being a, a like a successful esque artist, but I think personal enjoyment is probably the key, which is why I'm saying intrinsic motivation is sort of vital to having like like longevity and like overall like personal fulfillment sort of prosperity. Because if you're doing something all this time and you're like doing it for the wrong reasons, I kind of feel like it's obvious that you're gonna run into garbage, whatever. Um but some psychological key points or whatever to focus on are like avoiding falling into helpless orientation or performance orientation and fixed mindset which is basically the three basically compiled together is basically like thinking because something is hard it's always going to be hard and it's never going to get better and then with performance orientation it's like focusing on winning rather than like achievement like I said it goes back to like personal fulfillment and then fixed mindset once again kind of ties into helpless orientation thinking that you're stuck and nothing's ever going to change, nothing's ever going to get better. And though this isn't like a psychological point, it's more of like an artistical, artistical, that sounds gross, um, an artistic point of view takeaway from like stuff that I've seen on the internet is like to feel like you should probably relinquish some of like your preconceptions of what art is because I think, I think like with social media and stuff, it's really easy to fall into the trap of believing like only one type of art is art you know like there's only one way to make art there's only one way to be an artist there's only i don't know it's very like black and white either or you know very one track minded it's really kind of gross to be honest but like with that mindset you're shutting off doors and like like opportunities to like be creative and possibly for originality in my opinion opinions are like assholes so what does anything mean um and then things to aim for are like mastery orientation and growth mindset so mastery orientation is being like more task oriented. So if you're one of those people who's really into, I guess like more traditional realism, anatomy probably would be something to focus on. I personally don't really care. I like distortion. I like, uh, I like, I like weird stuff. I like stuff that interests me. I like visual puzzles and stuff. And I think that is reflected in my artwork. So you know, focus on concentrating on like your strategies and your process of achievement rather than the outcome and within this you can like but for self for self-taught artists you, oh my god what is this what is this accent what am i doing <laughs> for like regardless of being like self-taught or not it's sort of like within this era you can really develop your own sense of discipline for your art and then like growth mindset is basically you know it seems pretty fucking obvious psychology is really a no shit science it really is. It really, really is. Um, but growth mindset is the opposite of fixed mindset. Believe that you can change and improve with effort. 
Ugh, is this worth it? Was this good? Did this is my best take? Perhaps. Yeah. So um, I mean, if you feel so inclined to, you know, suit your fancy, do whatever which you will. <laughs> whatever. Um. Um. No, no pressure. No pressure. Do what you want.